So to navigate to dynamic pages, we can still use this link component, which we import from next link. We use it just as before. So here again, we can add an unordered list and add the link component and then say our first client is Maximilian. And here the ID of that client could be max. So therefore we can simply set this to slash clients slash max, for example. And then this simply is taken as a concrete value for this ID here in the squared brackets. And of course we can have a second client here, let's say manual, where the ID then could be menu. And if we save that and have a look at our client's page, now we can click on Maximilian to be taken to the overview page with all the projects for this client for Max, as you can see here on the right. Or if I click on manual, I go to the same page, but with a value of menu for that ID. So that's how this works and how we can, of course, also navigate to pages with dynamic parameters. Now, in reality, you often need to generate a list like this dynamically. So you might have some piece of data, let's say a client's array here, and every client is an object here with an ID of max and a name of Maximilian. And then we have another client here um, with a name of manual and an ID of menu. So what I already have down there, but in reality, you would of course often get such data from a database, for example, and you want to generate that dynamically. You can do this as well, just as you know it from standard React, because this is standard React. Inside of this component, it is a standard React component, nothing special about that. So therefore, we can map our clients to list items just as we know it, set a key as we should, to ensure that React is able to fully understand this list and update this list efficiently and set this to client.id, for example, since that is a unique identifier. And then in the list item, we can use our link and between the link tags, output client.name and for the link, set a ref, which we also set to a dynamic value where we, for example, use backticks to create a template literal to set this path to slash clients slash and then inject a dynamic value here, which is client ID. So with that, we render a bunch of list items with a bunch of links where inside of the link uh, as a text, which is visible to the user, we output the client name. And as a value for the target, for the destination of that link, we create a string with a template literal by having the hard-coded slash clients part and then the dynamically injected client ID, which is different for every client we're looping through. Hence with that, if we save this and we go back to our clients page, it looks like before and it works like before, but now that list is generated dynamically. And that works just as you know it from standard React.